Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. It's a nice night out there. The sky partly to mostly cloudy. The temperature still in the mid-50s here in the metro and uh, outer suburbs in the low 50s. But pretty much all of us sitting in the 50s at this hour, there's a beautiful live look outside toward Louisville. Now, the high temperature today, 63. So we jumped up a bit from yesterday and tomorrow. We're going to jump up a lot. We're talking mid to upper 70s near record warmth, if not breaking record warm temperatures tomorrow. Just wait until I show you those temperatures. 54 is where we should be. So that's the average uh, high temperature for this time of year. 50s for almost all of us, with the exception for those of you watching us in Seymour and North Vernon. Temperatures a little bit cooler at 46 degrees, but even Southern Indiana is going to be warming up nicely as we head into tomorrow. And this is why. Notice the warm front just to our south, south of that front, south winds north of that front north and east winds and that's why we're going to see that warm up once our winds shift out of the uh, southwest that's when temperatures bump up and that starts late tonight and tomorrow but behind that warm front comes some gusty winds so yes it's going to be very warm tomorrow but we're looking at a bit of a breeze so if you're spending any time outside we're looking at gusts between 20 and 25 Maybe a few gusts getting close to 30 in a few locations for Saturday afternoon. Staying gusty Saturday night into Sunday as a cold front approaches. And we're looking at some of those winds strengthening a little bit ahead of that cold front. Noon on Sunday, if you're heading out, it's looking quite breezy uh, across the entire area. So that breeze will continue uh, through the entire weekend. Temperatures warming up, too, in the 70s both days. 50 degrees overnight tonight. A few passing high clouds, overall partly to mostly cloudy. Tonight, overnight lows, outer suburbs, I would say in the upper 40s, right in town, we're into the low 50s for those low temperatures. And then look at tomorrow, what a great day. Uh, mostly sunny early and then turning partly cloudy by the afternoon, breezy and warmer. I mean, check out those temperatures close to record warmth. That record high is 77, and we're going with a forecast high of 77. So if that happens, of course, we tie it, but there's a chance we could even break it. Here's your planner as we head into the day on Saturday. A little bit of a cool start, but that's actually mild for this time of year. This is actually our high. This is where we should be for our high temperature, and that's going to be our low temperature early in the morning. And then by the afternoon, warming up nicely, 70 by noon. That's nice if you want to eat lunch outside, and then mid to upper 70s by uh, 5 o'clock, and that breeze really kicking up through the day. Your backyard, look at those highs, maybe close to 80 down towards Greensburg and Columbia, while the rest of us looking at mid to upper 70s. So very comfortable out there. A quick look at that forecast going into Sunday, though. Some changes. A cold front does approach. Some morning showers, but if you have plans Sunday afternoon, it's actually looking okay, not that bad. A mix of sun and clouds. More clouds and sun probably, and then more showers develop Sunday evening and Sunday night. So we're going to get plenty of dry time during the day on Sunday. Lots of clouds tonight. Then by the morning, we're clearing. Lots of sunshine coming back for the first half of Saturday. Then the clouds come back uh, Saturday night and into your Sunday. And that's when we start to watch some showers popping up. Maybe even a rumble of thunder. Can't rule that out as we head into your uh, Sunday night into Monday. Turning pretty wet on Monday, especially the first half of the day with falling temperatures, chilly on Tuesday, only 49, mm. and temperatures kind of all over the place into next week, <laughs> March. So enjoy it while we can, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. What you say? All right. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel.